Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We've got Snow versus Solkey for you today and Solkey playing off race Terran. No, the ladder has just reset. Means that everyone's gone back to their placement matches and everyone's re-establishing their MMR. And it appears that players like Solkey, some others as well, are opting to play off race until things settle down. There's a lot of chaos when the ladder first resets. It can be pretty hard to climb up as everyone's scrambling towards the top. So players like this not taking it too seriously, just testing out their skills, messing around with some Terran, Soul Key. How's he going to match up against Snow in this game on Radeon? I imagine it's going to be a tough one, dude. Like, he is an insanely good player. But I would be shocked if Soul Key could beat Snow in a game TVP. TVP. That would just be unbelievable to me. <clears throat> I don't think that's going to happen. We'll have to watch and see. Anything can happen in a best of one, so let's not count them out. First, a Zealot coming out here for Snow. And we've got Soul Key getting into a very fast factory. Going to be starting that up here in just a moment. Already sending out some Marines. He's got the first Marine on the way. SCV is finally going to scout down here in the bottom left. Snow scouted the incorrect direction, so he's not going to be able to get in there and slow down this factory. Or try to, you know, deal some damage to these SCVs before the Zealot comes, which is usually uh, what you like to do. Getting just a couple of hits on each SCV can really help uh, you to deal with or to deal those kills to get that damage. Really with the Zealot a little bit later on. Not going to be the case this game. The Zealot coming in with the probe this time. Got a second Zealot coming across the map. And that's been spotted here by Soul Key. It's going to mess me up a lot. Calling it Terran player Soul Key. But let's see if we can get it done. And do our best here. Ooh. That's unfortunate. Good block there. But also a nice pull. Nice turn around. One Marine goes down. Second Marine falls. This is already not looking good. Third Marine, is it gonna go down? Oh, just barely does survive. Probe here, just going to mineral walk its way back towards home as the second Zealot comes in. Vulture is about to pop out. Can he get one more kill? Not quite able to get it done. No, oh, maybe he'll get this one Marine, no. Well played by Sulky. Two Zealots down for just two Marines and some damage on these uh, other two third zealot was coming across that's a little bit surprising you know sulky knows or snow knows that this is sulky so maybe underestimating him a little bit thinking like oh yeah i'll probably just deal a bunch of damage to you with pure zealot rally and uh doesn't really go according to plan now sulky sitting here he's gonna go ahead and get his bunker up he knows that there's gotta be a dragoon on the way he saw it killed his scv we have range on the way. We've got the Robo here coming in. Going to try and get some kills on these Marines right before they get in the bunker. But the damaged Marines are in the back. Going to hop those in immediately. Keep the one high HP SCV or high HP Marine outside the bunker here. Pretty well played from Sulky so far. He's not sneaking out the Vulture though. You can see that this Dragoon being rapidly clicked back and forth by snow he's being really really cognizant of any vulture coming out here because he wants to body block that and deal as much damage as possible you can see he's just constantly clicking that back and forth this is not a patrol click this is him clicking at 350 apm right now he does not want to lose to sulky's off race that is for sure and the vulture actually sneaks out the side a little bit unfortunate here for Soul Key. He's trying to stay active with this, but he was a little bit outside of the zone of vision here to see this vulture sneaking out on the map. And mines are about to finish. Will he be able to kill off this dragoon? I think the odds are good that he manages to pick this off. First few mines going to start to be thrown down. We've got shuttle speed. Coming along here. I think it's time to move. Oh my gosh. 
the f double factory for some reason i was thinking this is an fd push but here we go D two factory play y you can absolutely kill a protoss player with the two factory even at the very highest level if they don't know what's going on that could absolutely be the case he's gonna go around this and maybe catch some vultures that are coming in but he didn't make a nexus of his own oh man this is gonna get crazy the nexus here hasn't even been thrown down so it's one base to one base how wild is that i think snow has the perfect counter right now because he can just go straight across the map and start to harass while taking his nexus on the low ground he doesn't have to fight the army of snow or of soul key at all right he can just run away here oh he's gonna drop the reaver over on the left hand side i don't think that soul key ever expected this to take place does he start his own cc not yet there's the nexus coming down so it's gonna fly in now oh my god the mines oh wow that did a huge amount of damage that is really unfortunate here for snow he just took damage on the one unit that can harass his opponent right now he doesn't really have any other tools i guess he can go back home and switch out the reaver leave leave the one damaged reaver back here or maybe he'll switch out the zealots keep both reavers inside i'm not sure okay he left the one reaver across the map that's kind of wild i guess he's hoping for some vultures to move out all right here we go take one shot gets three kills not bad but it's just marines and the tanks are gonna keep progressing forward two shots from this reaver killing off that one turret dropping on top here potentially as the army goes across the map see what he can get done with this reaver reaver doing quite a bit of damage here in the back line so far already a kind of a wild game great body block with the scvs but the zealot gets the kill to pick off another scv here trying his best to micro this oh gonna eat that one shot that's pretty painful gets the tank as well now coming in to this natural i'll go picture in picture here so we can see what the reavers are doing during this but i think this may be more impactful we have a second shuttle here a lot of probes are going down there's only 18 scvs right now for soul key soul key really trying to just get in here and deal that damage but i think that snow's gonna be fine i mean he is probably gonna lose all of his dragoons he should have a reaver out here in a moment okay he can drop the dragoons in the middle of this that's kind of crazy well i'm not sure what happened to that reaver but i think it went down in the end 19 scvs to 26 probes can we eventually put together a good enough army to stop this you should be having these two gateways producing i'm really not sure what's going on with that dropping right on top of this should be pretty good for snow you have to unsiege a lot of these tanks and stuff gotta target down the tanks here not really great targeting right now from snow gonna bring a reaver down finally should be able to pick off everything now there we go one more drop okay one more shot gets it very nicely done but the nexus goes down that nexus falling is hugely impactful if that nexus was still alive i think that it would be just about lights out here for Solki, but I guess this will go on. Running around the back here. Gotta get a couple more kills on this probe line. Actually, evening out the probe counts pretty well. Just by killing off a few extras and adding on some more of his own. The Reavers here can't... Oh my god, that mine is so close. Well, that was a great Reaver shot. Killing both those vultures at the same time. I just saw something happen there. I guess it connected on this Dragoon. Killed off one of the probes. Not the biggest deal in the world. And Snow will eventually clear this up. Can he get a... No, cannot get a Nexus down. He does need an Observer. Do we have one? Okay, there's the Observer. Finally going to start clearing this out. And a CC starts back at home for... Sulky. What the heck is this game, guys? This is some wildness we're witnessing right now okay coming back in once again hold up still a little bit crazy here trying to deal with these vultures that keep running in and laying down mines 
The Reaver on the high ground has some scarabs. There's still a Dragoon behind the middle. Oh! Okay, I thought he was going to walk in there. Luckily, doesn't lose his whole probe line. Has 18 probes remaining. Oh my god. 17 now, so he lost one more. That's pretty painful. Back at home. Oh, the Reaver just went down. I'll have to picture and picture that as well. A lot of craziness this game. But the Reaver just died. One of the two Reavers just died, I think. And he can't really deal any damage right now. I think that Soul Key can stabilize. And Snow's going to stabilize as well. What a wild one. Jeez, I've been camping for the past couple of days. So I've been out of cell service. That's the reason why I haven't uh, uploaded anything. But I come back and I greeted with this game. What an insane... This is like KCM week six type material right now. If you guys have missed out on that week of KCM, I definitely encourage you to go watch that. One of the most insane KCM weeks we've ever had. It was this season, week six. Season three of 2024. Just wild every single game, but similar to this one where it's like, what is actually going to go? What is, what is going to happen? You've seen a million games. You've seen basically a billion games in every single different type of format and every single different type of result imaginable you think you've seen it all but you would be wrong you have not seen it all this game does exist soul key playing off race two facting snow who didn't build the nexus or canceled the nexus i'm not sure which one Goes in for the Reaver trade. Then builds a Nexus. Loses his Nexus. To the follow-up push. And then both players stabilize. After a bunch of Vulture harassment. Into this weird abomination of a game. I don't even know what we're looking at. At this point. Sulky. Gonna start to add on more factories finally. He has plus one on the way now. He's got a pretty decent tank count. That's the big thing I'll say for him right now. He's got a very good tank count. As soon as he adds on a bunch of extra factories, he can start pumping a huge amount of vultures to complement this. Some Goliaths, of course, are all, all always great. But once he gets those supporting units online, the tanks are going to rain hell on whatever army Snow brings out here. He's not really transitioning. He's only just now adding on some more gateways. He's got a third Nexus on the way. He's behind in probes, like very far behind in probes because of all the craziness with the vultures. The position is just weird. Like he's so far ahead in supply. He's not crazy far, he's 10 supply ahead. But he's got way less probes. Well, he's got, I mean, not as many less probes now. He's got three less probes. Okay, two less probes now. <laughs> But it's just a funny spot to be in, in TVP. You never kind of see this. It's usually the Protoss ahead in supply and workers. And the Terror player, you know, just a little bit behind, but not too far behind to where they're just going to die to an attack. You can basically handle a maxed out Protoss player in 160 supply as a rule of thumb. But here, I mean, finally evened out the, the worker counts. Looks like he wanted to dive in, but you see four Goliaths just sitting there waiting. I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Flying in's probably going to be suicidal. He sees this, I think. No, he hasn't seen the Goliaths yet. Okay, sees the Goliaths start to move out. Now he's going to go in. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. Snow's ready. As soon as everything comes down this ramp, he's going to fly right into that main base. Make a super annoying stink here. And yeah, Sulky's going to be forced to move his entire mech army back up that ramp. It's going to be a real pain in the butt. Okay, that uh, shuttle got pretty low there. Oh, he couldn't pick up in time. He does take a, quite a bit of damage on that first Reaver. Will he just fly on back out? Looks like he will. So... He sacrifices the shuttle with the two Zealots in it, but he keeps the two Reavers alive. 
pretty important to keep those alive right now. He's got four gateways only. Four gateways to four factories. I guess uh, gateways plus reaver, right? Can't forget about those reavers. They are going to be worth their weight in gold here in this next fight. If past experience is any indicator of the way that games go here for snow. Let's see if Sulky can make any difference in this game. By shutting that down. Mm, gonna drag some of these dragoons in. That's unfortunate. Does get a pretty good shot off there with the reavers though. Not really sure where that came from. Oh, this side. Four reavers available. Did he actually get... Yeah, I got reaver damage. I thought I saw that in the production tab. So he's got reaver damage, which is pretty nasty. Very few Protoss players will get that. But Snow is just one of those guys. He will get that reaver damage more than basically anybody else. He's so good at avoiding these Goliaths. And look at that. He's going to pick off two of them without taking any damage on his shuttle. Sulky's got to be frustrated by now. A fourth base is coming up for Snow. Rotating around the side here. He wants to take a fight, but just going to pick up and abandon the, the position. And yeah, he's starting to shove everything back. I don't know where Sulky's going to go from here. He's waiting for plus one armor. He's going up to quite a few factories now. Up to, what's the six fact? Moving in towards the middle. What did he just scan? Scanning right in front of his army. Checking to see if he can find that Reaver shuttle before the engagement actually happens, but he ends up taking damage from it anyway. That is a bit unfortunate. Trying to shove forward here. He really wants to get some space on the map, but he loses two tanks for free. Every time he pushes forward here, Snow is punishing him over and over and over again, and Snow is increasing his gateway count slowly but surely. I really feel like he needs to throw down like four more gateways. Um, but he's doing a great job here slowing down with the Reavers. So maybe it's not going to matter. We've got four Reavers still. We're almost at that entrance to the fourth base. Can Sulky make this happen? He's looking to take a base over here at the 12 o'clock. At the same time, another great Reaver shot. Two more excellent reaver shots juggling in between the tank hits. He manages to kill off a few more of those. And what do we have left? 11 tanks total. 12 there if you count that one. Some more rallies coming up as well. A few more dragoons here. Two more reavers as well. It's kind of insane. Like that's a little bit wild. We're going into like wonky land here with six reavers. Is that, is that legitimate? He's going to dive in the main again. Yeah. Bit wild here. Snow just going to do it again. He's going to lose his shuttle, of course. But he is going to dive in here. Still some more micro. Feeling some more damage there. Shuttle went down, so no more juggling in the main base. These Reavers are eventually going to go down. And Sulk is going to get in on this fourth. Now, we do have still two Reavers... Three Reavers available to try and help out here. It's like pretty good targeting on some of these Reavers. Gonna force them back for now. Another drop. Can he get some more hits off? Picking off some more of these glass. Wow, a lot of glass just went down. Ooh, great juggling there as well. The one Reaver on the left did go down. This Reaver with nine kills. Looks like he killed a bunch of supply depots as well. So can't actually produce anything. Okay, something just finished up. And now he can actually produce once again. That's very good for Soul Key, keeping his supply alive. The shuttle can't quite come in just yet. We've still got two Goliaths in this army, but maybe he can go around it. Fourth base goes down. Ooh, that's bad. The fourth going down here for Snow, and he does not have mining at his main anymore. That's gone. So he's mining on two bases. But at the same time, Soul key mining on two as well. He could just go up there and deny 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock is an easy denial. I can't believe we don't have Zealot speed yet. How crazy is that? Skipping on Zealot speed at this late stage of the game. Dragoon's trying to shove in here. I don't think this is going to work. Time to leave. 
Yeah, these dragoons are gonna have to head for the hills. He really needs to go up to 12 o'clock with these and kill off that mining because if this just allowed to keep mining, he's definitely gonna lose this. Reaver over here. Being brought forward. Oh, that mine connection was huge. Absolutely huge. These zealots are taking forever to get on top of these tanks. And it looks like he might be able to track this down. But he's had to bring home all his dragoons, which was his base killing force. Had he gone up to 12 o'clock, he could have killed that command center. Instead, he's going to take the army. I think it's a reasonable trade. But behind this, maybe Soul Key can hide some tanks up here. Make this trade a little bit worse. And then we could see... Oh, he lost the Reaver. That's really painful. The Reaver loss right now is uh, very annoying. Vultures over here. Going to go to town on some probes, I think, at the third base. These tanks just buying so much time. And this hidden base at 12 o'clock is paying massive dividends right now for Solki. Solki still has two base mining where Snow, he cannot get his third online there's two probes down here, but they're going to get killed off immediately. The shuttle heading back home. Dragoons heading back home as well after cleaning up those tanks. Another shuttle being brought over here. Reavers, great defensive tool against vultures. Going to pick them off. But this base, I think, still maybe not revealed. Did Snow ever even check up there? Look. This black indicates that he's never even looked in that direction. So having no idea. I think this probe might right now have been sent to 12. I think this is the moment when he spots it. Yeah, is he... What is he going to do? What's his response going to be the moment that he sees this? There it is. He gets in here. He sees the SCVs. He might have even clicked the mineral patch and realized that they've been there for a while. But there's not a whole lot that he can do. Running into the middle of the map with no observer. Okay, he is going to bring that forward. Reaver's being landed. Helping to clear that out. Shuttle. Sent up here. Can't get in with those two Goliaths there. Three Goliaths there. They'll die so quick. The shuttle will die so quick. The Reavers will be killed for sure. He doesn't really want to lose that Reaver. Whoa! Lots of shuttles coming in right now. Okay. That first shuttle got picked off really fast. Great target fire. Um, but the Zealots are still here. A lot of them did get out of those shuttles. And so this will be forced away. Vultures can't really do any harassment damage against Snow right now. And he's going to get his economy up and rolling once again. Meanwhile, on the high ground, just denying the third. Pretty annoying stuff here for Snow. Or from Snow. Z uh, Soul Key is the one who has to deal with it right now. Good job picking off the Observer. Makes it a little harder to juggle the shuttle here. Juggle the Reavers to deal any extra damage. Not a lot in the natural. He could try to drop on top of that, but it looks like he wants to drop here. Get a couple more tank kills. If he targets both on that one tank, he will get that kill. He does. He gets the Goliath as well. Not a bad trade at all here for Snow. He delayed the mining for a long time. And he killed quite a few tanks. Where is Zealot Speed? It's crazy that he doesn't have it right. He's got double robotics facility. He's got the Citadel. But his Zealots are still, like, slow walking around the map. It is really goofy, actually, this game from Snow. He's, been, he's playing a little bit, um, a little bit crazy right now. Like, look at how slow this thing is. What is going on with this Zealot? Nice Reaver shot there. Really, really good Reaver shot. You can see how much damage it does with the extra 25 uh, DPS. It's just crazy. Almost killing the, that tank and halving this one. So if he shot this one, both of these would die immediately. Well, it's basically a one shot, right? If you have two tanks next to each other, they take two shots and they both die. It's basically a one shot on the tank, right? Not exactly, but you know what I'm saying. We've got Zealots coming in, dropping right on top of here. Did they need speed? No, we've got Shuttles. Shuttle's going to deposit them directly where they are needed. And it looks like Snow's actually going to break through this. Uh, Soul Key out on the map somewhere with his vultures just looking for damage, but he's not going to find it anywhere. And oh my gosh, this is so close. That damage that he did earlier on those two tanks actually pays off big time. 
because he's able to pick off both of those. One tank on the high ground. Defense that base, are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. We've got a bunch of scans going out right now because I think Sulky is close to leaving this game. He should unsiege everything and bring it over to this 12 o'clock. Try to save it, but he's kind of sitting back right now. Okay, he's gonna bring some units, but this Reaver is going to wreck face. Eight kills on that right now. So many SCVs have just died. Get one more shot there. Another few more SCVs go down. Damn, man. I think he's got him. Snow will take down Sulky, but this was not an easy game. This was an incredibly close battle between these two legends. And Sulky for sure gave him a run for his money. I know that Snow was kind of messing around a little bit in this game. Sorry, guys. I don't have the... Uh, translation here for you what the players are talking about but check take a look down in the comments we've got some pe people who watch the channel who are uh, fluent in korean maybe someone will throw that down if anyone wants to translate put it down in the comments and i will pin it to the top comment so you guys can check it out yeah he gets in there Ooh, great last shot just finishing off those SCVs and Snow's gonna hang around for a little bit longer, I guess. Just clear out what remains here of Sulky's army. Savoring the victory, it was hard fought, but he manages to take him down. I wanna go back a little bit. I wanna go back just, just a bit here and see when Snow actually figured out that two factory was coming. Because it felt like he didn't know until really late on. Let's see. But he might have sniffed it out. The second Zealot goes back home. He's out in the front. He's kind of dancing here with the Dragoon. There should be a Nexus... Or there should be a CC starting. He hasn't started the Nexus yet. He went... Oh, he pokes. He sees a tank. Do you see a tank and a Vulture? He's still not building the Nexus. He's only building units. He's only building units and he's building his Reaver. So he sees this move out right now. Now he knows that it's a two fact. Now he knows. He sees the vultures and the tanks. And he's now aware, but he just didn't take a Nexus. He's stuck on two bases. Maybe he found out earlier than that. Let's take a look here. He got in. He saw the SCVs. This all looks normal. Yeah, I'm so curious when he figured out this was two fact. All right, Dragoon gets in. I think no, he didn't see. Didn't see here. It's so far forward. This is almost maybe a tell. The fact that he put it this far forward, it's kind of common to place it in this location. Like right around here or here. Anywhere in here. Pretty common placement for the bunker. Can't really get a good, vi get good vision on that CC. And he never started the Nexus. He's just kind of figuring it out, I guess. That there's not a CC behind this. And he completely guessed right. Constant unit production and reverse popping out was the absolute right choice. No nexus necessary. The triple N build here for Snow. He just goes ahead and builds a reaver. The vulture comes in and yeah, uh, Sulky. I mean, if I'm Terran right here, I'm like, what do I even do? Like, do I try to push the main? Like, do we just go home and build a CC? A CC? What is the right call at this moment? You get across the map with your two factory and he's just got no Nexus? Like, what, what even is that? I mean, <laughs> of course you can hold a two factory with a Nexus and, you know, try to make it work, but it's so rare that the Protoss player just doesn't build it. They just stick on one base. It's kind of interesting to me. 
But I think that Soul Key right around now, he got in there, he saw that, and he got really confused. Let's see what he does right here. He goes in, he sees no Nexus, and he's like, oh god. Um, I guess I send my my SCVs home, right? I guess I send my tanks and and Marines home. These tanks actually got completely forgotten about. Tanks and vultures over here. Starts setting up mines at home. He realizes that a counterattack is coming. He was able to hold it pretty successfully. And the follow-up was was nice, but Yeah, Snowkey is not to be messed with, dude. I think that uh, Soul Key just got, or Snow is not, yeah, Snow is not to be messed with. Soul Key just got a taste of what it's like to be a Terran against this guy, and I don't think he liked it. I don't think we're going to see Soul Key switch to Terran anytime soon, guys. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see Terran, or, uh, you know, Soul Key playing Terran next to ASL. Um, not after that experience. Snow just knows this matchup way too well. He's so strong. Even from a sloppy, weird position, able to play it out like this and, and get a win. I mean, it just, it's incredibly in impressive. He basically dragged Soul Key out into deep water and watched him sink. You know, he's like, okay, you want to play that game? You want to be aggressive? I'll show you aggression. I'm just going to send my Reaver across the map and deal damage. We'll make it really sloppy. You're going to have to fight on two fronts at the same time. Try to figure out how to win from that position. Because this is not a game you've ever played before. But maybe Snow's played this a few dozen times. Maybe this is the way S Snow generally just deals with the two factory play. And so he knows exactly what to do. Very well played. Interesting game, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.